Welcome to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School, where we explore all kinds of things, stories about quilting, tools, field trips, maybe some famous quilters stop by, and of course, a little bit of copyright thrown in just for fun. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard. I'm a law professor at Tulane University Law School, and I just want a quilt. Well, our numbers are looking great. Um, We have had over 25,000 downloads since we began, which is terrific. Um, uh, Almost 17,000 hours of listening directly on the website, including uh, almost 4,000 on the Spreaker website. Spreaker is where we host. It's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. And we host there um, because the prices were pretty reasonable. Um, And we could also have different shows. So as I go... If there are different shows and different parts of my work at the university, like we're doing one for um, World War II and uh, and copyright issues in World War II, um, we can split it off. So that's kind of why we chose Spreaker. Um, what else? We have uh, over 2,000 followers, um, which is great. And we also, let's take a look at our Facebook group. The Facebook group has turned into where we... Um, kind of gather it's kind of a it's a research space um and it just seems like we tried a lot of other there's lots of ways to organize things and it turned out that a facebook group which didn't seem to make much sense when we started really um is a way to keep track of everything so um it's a place to post things have people comment on them um it was it's really um uh great so we have in our facebook group we have, how many do we have? We have 461 members. So again, we're growing, which is great. Um, the Facebook group, which is just one quilt, if those listening and wondering, well, should I join it or not? Um, so here's what's happening there. Um, people are talking about their daily life quilting, which is what quilters do. They also, when they find copyright f- stories along the way, they post that. Um, they post videos and other things, include, I do too, of interesting things that come up so that we are keeping abreast of what's happening in the quilting world. Um, and then we're planning. So um, I often do a poll, maybe once a week, on their thoughts about certain things. Um, and we often have field trips, and so people do fa- Facebook Live to field trips. Um, so if that's something that's interesting to you. Um it's just a place to be active. Now, I call those that are part of the Facebook group my quilting army because we really are like an army. We kind of, we're out there and the bigger it grows, the better. Um, but it's a thoughtful army. It's a kind army and it's full, lots of fun. So we've been able to go to a whole bunch of things this year and we're trying to do more um, and be organized about it. So... We're, get, we're almost to our first anniversary, that would be June, um, when this project started, and we're trying to now think of through what else we want it to be. But for now, the Quilting Army really does live on, on our Facebook group. Anyone can join, so if you hear this, you can join it. Um, and really the rules are that you like quilting and you're willing to be kind about it um, and just play. Um, as I said, we're trying to make it an active group so that um, lots of people participate. There are a lot of big groups out there. And from what I see, some have lots of active members and others don't. And I would like a really strong, mighty army. Um, so we're going to sort of figure out what that means exactly this summer. We did a giveaway and it was super successful on my side of it because first we learned about giveaways and how to do them. But over a third of our members um, participated. So we're going to try to have more things that get our army participating so we can be strong um, and a very active group. It would really be nice to have everybody involved in the things that we're doing. Um, Okay, so I'm a bit rambly today. So, um, So now we're transitioning to summer and we're thinking through the things that we want to do um, I'm going to post, uh, sort of, I've been posting a little, of a, a, um, poll of what things people wanted. And so far more on copyright, that they're ready for copyright. 
um, a little and quilting history. People wanted that, so we're gonna we've got some interviews, but we'll do some more interviews with quilt historians. Um, they like the interviews of the quilting army. I do too. I like the regular people interviews. Um, more tools. People do want tools. Um, quilt entrepreneurship. It was a smaller um, re- response, but still some response. Um, field trips. People weren't that excited about them. What I like about the field trip reports is that it really does give me a sense of what's going on. And so we'll get more pointed in terms of what we're looking for from field trip reports. Famous quilters, interestingly, you guys didn't say that you wanted more famous quilters, which I think is really interesting. That only got six votes. Um, Giveaways and coupons, not as excited. Although we are now starting to see that people, we've got two groups that are interested in giving the quilting army a discount. So that's really interesting. So we may be um, like a discount, like just an evergreen discount, not based on like a particular time period. So we're thinking about how we communicate all of that to you all and what that means. Um, Only four wanted a summer project, which is interesting. Um, And uh, one person (laughs) wanted more Canadian content. So we will totally do that. I promise. Um, So that was what our poll was this week. Um, So yeah. Um... So, what's coming up? Well, we're regrouping. We also are, this is a entrepreneurship project. So, one of the things we're looking at is affiliate linking. Um, and we'll, like just like giveaways, we will let you in on what we're learning as we go. Um, what is an affiliate link? An affiliate link is one way people make money on websites. It's like the main way right now people make money, which is you read a blog post and it's talking about a particular um, product and it has a link in it and when you click that link it's got a cookie that when you go to the web page or you buy at that website a tiny percentage comes back to the, uh, the originator of that link it is something that we're going to be looking at all summer and that we've got approval to actually play with so we're going to revamp our website and we're going to keep telling you more about affiliate links now one of the things I think I really like to do with this is think about we do have quite a bit of quilt entrepreneurs out there um, that we get even people that I don't expect to be entrepreneurs I call them micro entrepreneurs they have a tiny business um, and um, but they'd like to grow it and so one of the things I really like to focus on for the summer is well two things but this one is one of them is this sort of quilt entrepreneurial space and getting our micro businesses and our regular businesses into affiliate programs to see sort of how that operates um, and help you and help you understand what is it beneficial or not beneficial to us as just a website or to you your business so we're going to be thinking about that um, and I'll put more information out there I am really, even though there wasn't a huge response about the quilt entrepreneurship stuff, I am really interested in exploring how do you grow businesses. We're going to be doing that in a number number of ways. First, how do you grow something like what we are? We are, um, we're called a lifestyle brand, which is funny. Um, So we don't really sell anything, right? We might sell some t-shirts because some people have asked for the t-shirts that we have. Um, But... um, we don't really sell anything, but it's just about sort of being part of this community, the quilting army, and just want to quilt. Um, so we're going to sort of try to understand how you build a lifestyle brand. Um, we're also really interested in shops. So this is a call out to shops. If you're listening or you have a favorite shop, um, have them get in touch with me because I want to do a lot of interviews on shops. And what I'm trying to understand is, is there a consistent way shops make money? How long do shops usually last? Do they have a plan to transfer the ownership to someone else? Um, And are shops, I know shops are unique, I get that, but are they unique on the business side? Are different shops run different ways? Um, And how is that shifting with the presence of the internet? So that's one of the big questions I have for the summer. The other one is copyright class. So, I mean, we're going to do, I think I am rambling today, sorry. So on the quilt entrepreneurship side, we're going to be doing affiliate links and building up 
building up brands through affiliate linking. That's our like project we're doing with the students. The second is the anatomy of a quilt shop, which I really do want to understand. Um, on the other side of it is the copyright, and we'll be soon starting our quilting copyright class, um, which will be free, um, and it will just be part of the podcast. So we haven't quite set that up yet. Um, I'm talking, I want to make it fun for you. Um, but I also want to make it real for you. I want you to really experience, um, what quilting is and, um, in the context of copyright. And so we'll be working on that. And so I'm hoping that starts in June. Um, and it will be, um, some podcasts and maybe some YouTube videos. We're thinking through whether we want to do it as a video and, um, some reading if you want to read. Um, and that's sort of where we're at. So we're still planning that. We've got, I've gotten commitments from some really cool people to come talk to us about copyright. Um, what else? Um, so yeah, so we're almost at, we're just starting to think about summer. We did Paducah. We're going to Houston. We have a booth in Houston, um, a nonprofit booth to talk about, to have these stories and think about them. We're going to continue to do interviews. Um, and we are planning. So this is kind of a little recap. Hello. Um, if you have ideas, um, join the website. Put it on the webpage. Um, and if I start to um, have, suggest you do things, um, join. The, part, the point for my point is to see how people join. So we're going to probably need, we're going to probably start a newsletter. We might start a newsletter. People keep telling us we should experience newsletters. Um, we'll see. Um, but an email list, other things. So you'll you'll get a call out to me um, and understand that this is part of the experiment. Um, and we're trying to understand what works and what doesn't work. And we're going to have feedback back to you. Um, I am so enjoying this project. And you all make it so much fun. Um, you don't know. It's just great. Um, I'm also on the quest to still be more perfect. So if you have suggestions on how to make quilting more perfect, um, please, uh, post them at the, um, on just want to quilt, uh, Facebook group or email me or come on as a guest. That is my personal goal for the summer is to become more perfect. I'm getting there. Um, I had a really great technique somebody suggested last week that seems to work. And I think the more perfect thing is we all have to find our way to be more perfect. I am still not there. So again, this is just a quick recap of um, what's going on. We're doing some planning, some thinking. I would love your input at this point. Um, and then I'm going to put up some, I may put up a post today, but we will start to put up some more posts um, for this week. So i um, a little behind, took a couple days off, binge watched um, The Good Fight on, um, on, on uh, Amazon and... Uh, I just hope you are having a great week. So again, um, I hope you get a chance to quilt today. I hope you get a chance to visit us on um, the Facebook group. And thanks again. This is um, our numbers are looking great. Um, it's so much fun. There's so many people that we're we're interviewing. I'm interv uh, more interviews to come. And I hope we have a really fun summer. So this is Elizabeth Townsend Guard. You've been listening to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. We want to hear from you. Join our army, our quilting army. Go to our Facebook page. Suggest people to be interviewed. Suggest yourself to be interviewed. We are excited to hear from you. But most importantly, I hope you get a chance to quilt today.